Okay, uh, I had an intermittent problem with the control switch uh, for the water snake electric motor. Uh, I had to take the switch off and um, it had a lot of corrosion. I got, I got the back cover already marked because there's a lot of wires going in there. But uh, this is what the switch looks like. This is what the switch looks like. Um, still got a little residue of the, of the greenish stuff. I put it in baking soda, soaked it, sprayed it. Still got some of that green stuff. Uh, the only problem with this, I just realized that uh, one of these pins is kind of uh, it's broken. So when you when you when you do this, wiggle it, you can see the play in it, or you can feel the play, and that's an intermittent uh, contact. Like this is it right here. This one just wiggles. So it'll have an intermittent, it's not solid like these. These are nice and solid. This one, it wiggles crazy. So after I clean and everything, I realized that pin was no good, it's busted. So what I'm gonna try to do is, I'm gonna get another six pin rocker switch and try to replace, this is the, uh, this is the uh, the face, the interface that goes in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get a six pin rocker uh, switch and replace, use this one, cause this one's reverse off and four. But anyway, that's what I'm, that's my project right now. And um, I had the kayak, uh, the power, uh, set so that I could uh, put the battery right in here in the front of the kayak um, but I'm gonna I, I'm gonna put it in the back I changed my mind because it's gonna be way too much weight in the front of the kayak and um, I'm not gonna be breaking the, the waves really good with so much weight in the in the front of the kayak so basically where I'm going to put it, it's going to be way up here now. So, got the electric motor there, nice, nice. So basically, I'm going to try to run the wires to come out out of here. I got to get a special, I got to get a special uh, clip that's going to go in there that's gonna uh, water seal it uh, a little bit. Nice, nice, so water doesn't get in there. But that's the spot. This is the spot where I want the wire to be coming out of. And basically, I'm just gonna sit the battery right on top inside the creek. And I'm gonna put some lens, uh, uh, foam, insulated foams on the side just to make it uh, sit nice, nice. Now the battery that I got, I have bought a deep cycle battery and that sucker was way too heavy. I mean, it weighed like about, it felt like it weighed like about 40 pounds, no word of a lie. So I had to get me a, a different battery. I went to uh, uh, the battery exchange place and um, they, they usually service the batteries there and everything and the guy's pretty knowledgeable. So I gave him the specs the uh, the trolling motor uh specs for the 24 because this is a 24 uh, thrust pound so uh he said well he could give me like a, one of those gel batteries uh, seal uh nice nice is that this one won't last as long as that other one but uh it's definitely a lot lot less uh heavy so i'll show you uh the battery this is my GoPro setup I got all the wiring there 
and this is this is gonna be all the wiring that's gonna go way in the back. I'm gonna run this inside a kayak. I'm gonna run this inside a kayak come where I showed you guys already. So, so I got plenty of wire. And, all right, so let me show you the battery that I just got. Anyway, this is the battery right here. Nice and compact. Uh, heavy duty deep cycle battery. And um, it's got the connections for the, with the cable. Nice, nice. And um, those are the specs there. 12 volt battery. It's supposed to be pretty good. Uh, this was the second best from the other one that I had. Okay, this is uh, my setup for my uh, Angler 160 uh, Future Beach Angler Kayak. And um, I was having a problem with the uh, electric motor that I put in. The switch uh, had a lot of corrosion. And um, I tried to clean it. I cleaned it really nice. But then after I cleaned it, I realized that the, one of the pins was, was broken. So uh, it was giving me an intermittent problem. So I repair that. Uh, and um, it looks like it's going to be running pretty good now. We're going to test this in a second. Um, also, I'm going to be rewiring uh, the, uh, the wire, the battery wire. Uh, I used to have it in the front with a 24 series uh, battery but uh, it was way too heavy so I had to switch and um, right now I'm going to be using this uh, uh, little tiny battery here it's uh, a uh, nice compact battery uh, this, this battery here you could tip upside down sideways it doesn't matter it won't leak and um, it's really small and it weighs a lot lot less so that's what I'm going to be using this time and um, that wire you see uh, coming out of the uh, that uh, area there it's not going to be coming out of there I'm going to be uh, drilling a hole over here and I'm going to be putting uh, the uh, this cap that I bought online uh, right here to waterproof it a little bit so that's gonna be what I'm gonna be using and um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put the battery like a battery box on that slot right there or inside the uh, the milk crate um, I gotta figure that one out later on but uh, that's the old switch that I removed and replace and that's the new one right there that's the new one right there so this time I bought a few of them and this one's supposed to be supposed to be waterproof uh, and then right here this is my setup for uh, where the battery, little tiny battery that I'm using for my uh, fish finder. It's not there now, but that's where it's going to go. So, that's the whole setup right there. And um, let me turn it on, make sure to see if this is working. Okay. So, the line number one is low speed. Line number two is high and um, reverse as well okay so let's turn it on okay I already hear the motor running let's take a peek oh yeah she's doing what it's supposed to nice nice now that's a low speed let's go and put the high speed on I hear it kicking on nice, nice. The 
is working beautiful. Now let's go and do the reverse. I'm doing all this by myself, so please bear with me. Now, I'm gonna put it low and put the reverse. Now right there's in reverse. And everything's working like it's supposed to. I'm very pleased, very happy. shred it off so there you have it the T245 24 truss pound 12 volt water snake uh, electric motor setup that I did Okay, thank you for watching.